Before any of you start yelling at me in the comments, I am taking out my distracting dangly earrings. See? Be impressed. Here's what I'm thinking. I told you that win or fail was going to be a thing on this channel. So yesterday I was playing Scategories, which if you don't know is a game where you get a list of things like sandwiches or villains or something like that and then you roll a die and you get a letter and you have to come up with something for each category that starts with that letter. And during this game I had this problem where anytime we would roll the die and the letter would come up, one word would come to my mind and then I would just want to put it for everything. Which first of all is a problem because you can only use each word once, but was mostly a problem because that word didn't fit most of the categories. I was like, Things with tails. Ninjas. No they don't. Ninjas don't have tails. Or when the letter was K, one of the list categories was things at a menu and I just automatically thought kangaroo. I mean let's be honest, people eat just about everything so there's a good chance that someone somewhere has eaten a kangaroo but still, probably not something that would have flown in that game. And that particular brain hang up made me think of the two other things that my brain has gotten hung up on lately and it's another time where I can't decide whether it would be a good thing or a bad thing. The first of those hang ups occurred whenever I was listening to the Once More With Feeling episode of Buffy which is a musical and I was listening to Dr. Horrible, and there was probably some glee in there, and probably other musicals because I'm a theater kid. And my immediate thought was, how cool would it be if people sung about their feelings in real life? Putting aside how quickly that would probably get old, and even if you only had one day a year that was like musical day, there are still all kinds of problems that would arise. I mean, first of all, there are the practical problems, like what happens whenever people are bad singers, and then there's the problem with the idea of a shared consciousness where somehow everyone just randomly comes up with the same words to the same song at the same time. And then on top of that, there's harmonies and choreography and all kinds of things that everyone just seems to instinctively know, that is creepy. Because that means on some level you are reading everyone else's mind, or at least the person that is the star of the musical number. Which brings us to the identity problems that this would undoubtedly create. What happens whenever people realize that they're not actually the star of their own musical, they're just the backup dancer and everybody else's? I mean, how do you decide who has the most interesting story to tell, and what do you do whenever you find out yours isn't as interesting as other people's? I mean, I just don't see how that wouldn't suck. And then there are all the hidden dangers that come with having life as a musical. I mean, what happens when there's some triumphant musical number in the middle of the street and some jerk in a car didn't get the memo and comes barreling through and just plays pedestrian bowling? Unfortunate. And if we're following typical musical protocol, that probably means that everyone is singing about the things that they won't say out loud. And it's been my experience that if someone isn't going to say something, there's probably a reason. I mean, it could be warranted or it could not be warranted, but either way, being forced to say the things that you chose not to say is probably going to have some sort of consequences that you aren't going to be a fan of. And then the other idea that I can't seem to get out of my brain is the idea of a nerdfighter dating site, like nerdfighterlike.com. For those of you who don't know what a nerdfighter is, which I don't assume is too many of you because that's, you know, how most of you found me. A nerdfighter is someone who, instead of being made of, like, cells and tissues and organs, is made entirely of awesome. And their goal is to increase the level of awesome in the world while decreasing the amount of suck. So my original thought was, hey, if you put together all of these awesome people, it would just make these awesome circumstances and there would be more awesome in the world and it would be perfect. But then I thought about it a little more. Because let's be honest, I can't not think about it. I just overanalyze everything. It's a problem. By no other virtue than increasing the number of relationships, you are also increasing the number of breakups within Nerdfighteria, which would also increase the level of suck. And then that would just splinter all of these social networks that may have evolved in Nerdfighteria, and then you would just have an entire Nerdfighteria island divided between dumpers and dumpies, and then what would we do? And then maybe the particularly bitter exes would initiate some kind of nerdfighterian civil war where everyone's beating each other up with tubas and dictionaries and rifles. I mean, it, it would be madness. So maybe that's not a good idea either. But if that ever does become a thing, you can probably assume that the idea started here. So that's a look into the product of another one of the themes on this channel, which is sleep deprivation and high doses of caffeine. Now I don't think I'm going to have an official comment question of the day today because I'd really like to do a question too. Tuesday video, and last time I asked for the questions, people got so concerned with answering my common question of the day, which I love, that they forgot to actually leave the questions for the question Tuesday video. So you can ask me some questions in the comments, or you can send them to at on Twitter. Until next time.